Hi, this is Elaine, and uh, just got uh, back home from a meeting I attended today and stopped by the grocery store. Pick up a few things for uh, for food tonight. I wanted to share something. Wired magazine. Lonely girl, 15. All I can say is, what the fuck? I subscribed to Lonely Girl 15 about the first couple weeks that I was a, a member of YouTube. And uh, I was very suspicious about uh, whether this was just simply a make-believe person who was claiming to be a teenager and uh, enthralling people with uh, her goings-on with Daniel. And uh, I unsubscribed after two weeks. Uh, I think the indicators for me was the room just looked too clean and neat, the makeup looked just too perfect, every little detail just seemed like a commercial production. And uh, so here's a big write-up in uh, Wired Magazine for December about uh, YouTube grows up. There, YouTube grows up. I mean, that's an interesting article about uh, Google and why they invested 1.7 billion dollars and it's an interesting thing in that uh, they uh, they compare YouTube to television except that our television program is interactive and so our viewers have the opportunity to comment back to us we can do dialogue back and forth and uh, it's not the one-way medium that television is and they even describe regular television as this uh, um, whirlpool into chaos as it uh, uh, disappears from view because other things are becoming better. Um, the one thing I can say about uh, the Wired article and Lonely Girl 15 is the story about the chicken and the egg. I mean, is an egg getting chickens in order to have more eggs and is lonely girl 15 simply a way for wired magazine to sell more issues of wired magazine I don't subscribe to wired I pick it up on occasion and I hate to think that I picked it up because of lonely girl 15 I didn't I picked it up because it does have an article in here about YouTube. Um, I was frankly uh, disappointed in the idea that somebody would do a, a uh, I guess a precursor to a commercial um, video production in which the viewers are basically duped into thinking that this is a real teenager, which she isn't. I think it would have been uh, better uh, for why, or for uh, YouTube to simply indicate that uh, you know this is an interactive program if you want to join in. Um, however, Wired Magazine tends to have what I think is probably 85% advertising in every one of their issues, which is not why I which is why I don't subscribe to the magazine, frankly. Um, I think what I'll do, and I'll report back to everyone here, I'm going to actually count all the pages and give everyone a breakdown for the December issue. What percentage of this magazine is actual content versus advertising, 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 and I'm not advertising, I'm just showing you. It just goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on forever. Okay, I wouldn't call Table of Contents, which is on page 25, advertising and there's probably a few other things in here that <clears throat> I wouldn't call advertising 
like okay on page 28 is some more content so aside from articles it's important to find out where the articles are so stay tuned I will do an analysis of the December issue that has Lonely Girl 15 and let everyone know how many pages of advertising and how many pages of really content-oriented information is in here. Stay tuned.